Right now at five, though, get your COVID test and masks for free. The White House is releasing new details today on how you can get them and where. This all comes as President Biden gets ready to mark his first year in office. You're looking live right here from the White House, where, as you see, President Biden speaking. He's talking about his goals right now going forward in his administration. We are streaming this live on the NBC10 app for you. But NBC10's Lauren Make, she's joining us now from our newsroom with the latest in all this. Lauren? Jim, President Biden has been answering questions from reporters in what is only the second solo domestic news conference of his term. One bit of new information coming out this afternoon. He says he now thinks that his Build Back Better plan will have to be broken up into smaller chunks in order to get some of it passed. He also addressed where we are in the pandemic. Bottom line on COVID-19 is that we're in a better place than we've been and have been thus far, clearly better than a year ago. We're not going to back. We're not going back to lockdowns. We're not going back to closing schools. And the Biden administration is launching new initiatives to help people deal with the pandemic this week. They come after some frustration from people in our area and around the country when they simply could not get a COVID test. I spoke to a White House advisor who says if there is another surge, the federal government will be in a better position to meet the testing demand. As COVID pushes into a new year, new questions and new tactics about how to handle it. Where are we in the Omicron surge and are there other variants that you are monitoring on the horizon right now? So in terms of Omicron, it does appear that in parts of the country that uh, cases are beginning to, to come down, particularly in the Northeast. Tom Inglesby is senior policy advisor for the White House COVID-19 response team. We talked one-on-one -on -one as the administration launches new efforts to get masks and tests into the hands of Americans. Inglesby is also the testing coordinator for the White House, appointed as Omicron spread and lines formed outside testing sites in Philadelphia and around the country, with home tests hard to find. Why was the Biden administration and the COVID-19 response team that you're a part of not better prepared for this demand for tests. I think the administration is you know, kind of going back in time. If you if you look at the beginning of the administration, there were there were zero over-the-counter tests on the market last year. By summertime, there were 25 million over the tests over-the-counter tests available in the U.S. market in in August. And in December, there were 300 million over-the-counter tests. There will be another 375 million in January. It's not enough. We know the demand is very high, but the demand has really changed. This week, the Biden administration going live with covidtests.gov, where you can order up to four free tests per household. Today, the administration also announcing plans to provide free N95 masks as protecting yourself gets more complicated. I know that the CDC guidance changed on that recently, but quite frankly, it is still a bit confusing. It doesn't just say wear this. So what should people be wearing these days? People should be wearing the the the, the best mask that they can they, they can get. The administration today announcing 400 million and 95 masks from the strategic national stockpile will be available at places like pharmacies and community health centers. And a White House official says that masks should start shipping this week. Some should start being available late next week. And early February is when they're aiming to have things fully up and running. Live in the newsroom, I'm Lauren Make, NBC10 News. All right, Jim. Lauren, thank you. And meantime, President Biden continues to speak from the White House. He's been there speaking for quite a while now. You can watch his comments right now on NBC10.com and also on the free NBC10 app.